Hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is in my channel. Today we're going to be talking about ASHRAE 62.1 for apartment units part 2. Alright, let's get into it. So in the previous video we were talking about uh, how to calculate the outside air based on the mechanical code and for this apartment unit specifically what we have is this. So in this table, we have the International Mechanical Code and in the International Mechanical Code, we did our calculation based on this. So let's say option one, we have the 0.35 air changes per hour. And based on that calculation, we obtain a total CFM of 24.73. 24 but we didn't take into account these, which is number two. So today we will do that calculation of uh, part two. So in other words, number one, we have to check on the category, which is the occupancy category, which is living area. So in order to comply with the mechanical code, this indicates you have to provide 0. 35 air changes per hour, but not less than 15 CFM per person. So now um, the, the, the data that we had is, let's put data or given. So let's put in the given. I'm just going to erase this. Uh, there we go. And let's put that given. So what we have given is uh, the area of this apartment unit is 530 square feet and the height is 8 feet so usually the height could be 9 feet 10 feet that's very much we can measure and the number of people is 2 okay so why is it 2 because it says the first bedroom see number of bedrooms the first one is going to be 2 so I have one bedroom that is accounting for two and and I don't have any other additional bedroom so that would be only two okay so and also we're gonna have the occupancy category the occupancy category category or classification category was living area so that occupancy category could be a corridor could be a mail room lobby, ashray have a lot of categories for each individual case, okay? So now the CFM in this case is going to be the following, but in the preview, in the, in the, in part one, we took into account 0.35 air changes per hour. Now we're going to take into account 15 CFM per person. So in other words, what we're going to have for the CFM, so CFM, okay? The CFM is going to be the following. We need to provide 15 CFM per person. See, per person. Okay. So how many people do we have for this apartment unit? For this apartment unit, we have only two. Again, why is only two? Because the code says the first bedroom accounts for two. Each additional bedroom is one. We don't have an additional bedroom. So in other words, this would be two plus zero we don't have an, an additional bedroom so that could be two people people or person so this goes away with this so the cfm okay is required let's put an r in here the cfm required is going to be uh, 15 times 2 that's going to be 30 okay 30 cfm so in other words we need 30 CFM in this case, but that's option two, okay, in here, number two, which indicates, this indicates, this has to be no less than CF, 15 CFM per person, okay, 15 CFM per person, but in the previous video, we saw, we utilized 35 H changes per hour, 0.35 air changes per hour. And the CFM required was how much? The CFM required was 
0.73 CFM. Okay, that was in part one. Okay, so what do we do with these two CFMs? We're going to take the highest of both. So we're going to take this CFM because this is the higher. In, the, in code it says you, for this layout, you don't have to provide, provide less than 15 CFM per person, which is 30 CFM. So in other words, let's put outside air. So the outside air, outside air or fresh air, outside air is going to be the following. Outside air is going to be the CFM required uh, divided by yeah, distribution, see, effectiveness, easy. So which one are we going to pick, 30 or 24.73? We pick the highest, okay? So that's going to be 30 divided by 0.8. So usually we take 0.8 and actually ASHRAE has an another table for this, uh, for this factor, easy distribution effectiveness, okay? So what is 30 divided by 0.8? That's going to be, that is 37.5. So this is 37.5 CFM. In other words, we usually round it up to 38. So we need 38 CFM. And we're going to put this in a rectangle. There we go. There we go. So uh, in order to comply with code for this apartment unit, we need 38 CFM at least in order to uh, have the, um, to comply with ASHRAE and the code especially, all right? So this is 30, 38 CFM. And uh, just uh, to mention this, oh, since you're gonna have a lot of units, for example, as we were mentioning, this is one of the, you know, 200, 150 units, we, we, we don't know, but next to it, there's another apartment unit. This is apartment unit 10A, this could be 9A, on the other side could be 11A, but since you're gonna have a lot, and a spreadsheet is always utilized, a spreadsheet. It's a spreadsheet in Excel, and you use lookup table, so. But what we're explaining in these videos is uh, actually how the how the spreadsheet get populated so and also this outside air what you see in here outside air you have in here cfm required they have different other different um notations in array it's like v v o z you also have like a you know it's 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 totally different for example um you're gonna have for array VOZ or something like that, okay? But I don't want to confuse you, so that's why I'm making it easier. CFM required and outside there. Now, let's, I'm gonna make another uh, example in here very quick so you can see what the difference is. So what would happen if the air, see, the area? So that's another case. What would happen if the area would be 712? If the area is 712 and the height is eight feet, see? And then the number of people is the same. For example, number of people, that's gonna be two. And make a quick calculation on, on that. So you're gonna have the, the CFM required is going to be air changes per hour. So air changes per hour is, is 0 0.35, see, 0 0.35 times the volume. Now the volume is gonna be area times height. The height is eight, and that is divided by 60 everything divided by 60. We're, uh, we're talking about the first strategy, number one, which is 0.35 air changes per hour. And second, we're, we're gonna make sure that this is no less than 15 CFM per person. So in that case, we're gonna put in here 15 CFM per person times how many people? Two, again, this is gonna be equal to 30, okay? This is gonna be equal to 30 and if we do this calculation, sorry a little bit for the mess. Let's do this calculation. What what is 0.35? See 0.35 times uh, uh, 712 times 8 divided by 60. So that's going to be 33.22. See 33 
33.22 CFM. Okay, so let's put this with green. From these two, new example, see, from these two, the highest is based on the 0.35 air changes per hour. That is higher or greater than 15 CFM per person. So we choose this. So in other words, the outside air is going to be 33.22 divided by the distribution effectiveness, 0.8, and the outside air would be a simple calculation of 33.22 divided by 0.8. So that's going to be 41.5. 50. 41.50, let's round it up to 42 C CFM, okay? So if we do 42 CFM, we're going to comply with ASHRAE, I mean with the International Mechanical Code, because ASHRAE actually also have uh, other numbers, in, and that, that's going to be another video, Apartment Units Part 3, okay? I'm just trying to cover everything. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope uh, this explains a little bit better how to calculate the outside air for apartment units based on the mechanical code that is related to ASHRAE 62.1. And uh, thank you very much.